Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On October 10, 1834, a public meeting was called to consider the construction of a railroad from Natchez to Jackson or some other point. In 1836, the newly chartered Mississippi Railroad Company, also known as the Natchez and Hamburg Railroad, began operation when the locomotive Mississippi was pulled up the bluff by a team of oxen. Built in Britain in 1834 by Brathway and Erickson, this train is believed to be the first to operate in the American South. The rail line was laid by enslaved Africans and German workers, and by 1839, the rail line was completed from Natchez to Hamburg. Unfortunately, the depressed economy after the Panic of 1837 caused the collapse of the railroad and in 1844 the line was in liquidation. The engine was ferried up the Mississippi River where it became part of the Port Gibson to Grand Gulf Railroad. During the Civil War it is believed that Confederate troops placed a cannon on the rail car and used it as moving artillery. Union forces eventually captured it and used the engine to move supplies during the Vicksburg campaign. The engine was donated to Illinois Central in 1891, was refitted at the ICC yard in Macomb, and traveled to Chicago under its own steam in 1893, where it was part of the Chicago World's Fair. It was donated to the Chicago Museum of Science and Industry, where it was on display until the museum sold the engine in 2015. The auction catalog described the engine as enormously significant. Unfortunately, its present location is unknown. Hello, my name is Tempest Atkins, located at Mount Locust on the Natchez Trace Parkway, and this is your Natchez History Minute.